what's up to all of my uh Sagittarians out there. So um uh what's up to all what's up to all you Sagittarians, yo? Like, you know, Aquarius. I have Aquarius, I have Cancer Crabs, I have you Sagittarians, I have you Geminis, right? What's up to y'all Sagittarians? Y'all been falling off um, with the views and stuff. So just in case you didn't know. Um, just to get a just to give people a better idea of what it is that I'm looking for. You give me 300 views, 40 likes, right? I'll go ahead and I'll end up um, uh, putting the videos out. Um, I'll end up putting the videos out, uh, the two videos out first before any other. If not, I'll just go ahead and, and make the videos like I normally do from Pisces to Aries. So if you'd like to contact me for personal reading, my email address as well as the prices are in the description box below. Please consider coming through and getting a reading. Would appreciate it if you if you did. And I have a lot of Sagittarius uh, supporters. Shout outs to y'all. Really appreciate it, right? I didn't even know. I, I I didn't even know that Sagittarians really, really rock, really rock with me. But without further ado, so you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Temperance, the Ace of Swords, the Death card, okay, Four of Swords. Queen of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Five of Wands, and you have the Knight of Pentacles. So Temperance does represent Sagittarius, all right? Temperance does. But um, as far as Major Arcana goes. But what I'm seeing here for the Sagittarians, I'm seeing how a lot of you Sagittarians happen to be in a situation where you Sagittarians really need... You Sagittarians really need to start understanding that um, that's interesting. You Sagittarians were in a flow where things started to manifest in your life the way you wanted it to. Ace of Pentacles, your money, the Hermit, which is uh, Virgo, right? Knowledge coming through, Sagittarius. Y'all are big on knowledge. Y'all want to do things that revolutionize how people think, knowledge, things of this nature, how the brain gathers information, knowledge, or understanding. Totally understand that. And things were going well, right? And the Ace of Swords, things were manifesting. But whenever it is that I get the death card, right? And if it's not coupled up with, with the tower or something like this, right after it or close to it, right? In a reading, it usually means an ending. Every time I get this card, right? In any of the decks that I read from, right? Which is four decks that I read from. I get an ending to that. So the four swords... And the Queen of Pentacles is about how a lot of you uh, uh, Sagittarians are kind of in a situation right now where you, some of y'all may be going through kind of a rough patch where the Page of Cups is about how you may not be looking at certain situations correctly. A lot of you Sagittarians may need to sit back Pay attention to how your money is going. Pay attention to the things that you are learning, right? Sagittarians, a lot of y'all like to soak up information and stuff like this, like a sponge. And, and Sagittarians love a good debate, mind you. <laughs> Quiet as it's kept. But uh, yeah, Sagittarians are some debating <laughs> people for you. Uh, but... It, the Page of Cups represents you may be looking at that a little bit too much and you're not worried about handling your business. This ain't me saying this. This is what the cards are saying. Because I'm just seeing how a lot of you Sagittarians have fallen on kind of difficult times right now. And a lot of y'all need to kind of be aware of what's going on in your surroundings and have your head on a swivel. The Five of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles represents, however, you know, in order for you to be able to get yourself back to where, back to 
the beginning of the reading where things started to manifest is going to take a fight. It's going to take some time for you to do that. But the ace, but the, but the Knight of Pentacles represents if you have the discipline, if you stop learning the BS that you may be learning or occupying your time with, then you should be all right. Like for me, like I, and you know, for me, for instance, I'm learning how to uh, occupy my time more, even more wisely and efficient too. I just went ahead and bought myself uh, a clock and stuff like this, right? One of those digital clocks and stuff, because on on the new on the new uh, cable boxes, uh, they don't have time and stuff like this. And I realized that I'm task or uh, task orientated, right? Goal orientated. I like to get things done at a particular time. So for me, yeah, I have the I have the time on my phone. I have you know the time on my television and stuff. When I first turn it on, I have the time on my laptop. But I have to go through extremes in order to get the time because what about if because because what about if I don't want to be on the computer that day? What about if I don't want to turn my phone on that day? I'm one of those types of people where I really do like to unplug certain days. And this is just another way for me to help to help me unplug because now I can kind of think about what to do without having to ruin my day of being unplugged a full 24 hours by checking my phone or, or you know, my computer. Or sometimes I don't even like to have the TV on. Lay down on my bed, think, really reflect on some things. Keep it cool. You know what I mean? So let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles. That's what it is that a lot of you Sagittarians may have to do. Think, reflect, unplug. Five of Swords, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups. Now we're clarifying the Knight of Pentacles, which is the last card that I said. So the Five of Swords is about, again, cut out anything in your life that is distracting you at this time. That's This is what it's saying. The Ten of Cups, some of those things may include individuals that are trying to get get you to hold on spiritually by uh, coming up in your life. Uh, how do I say this? Things that you, things or people whom you may like that may end up being a distraction to you is just that they are a distraction, right? Because for me, for instance, a lot of the times when I turn my phone off, I turn my my uh, computer off, and I'm like, I'm a, I'm gonna just go missing for five hours you know, handle my own thing, do whatever, you know, reflect, right? Then then when I turn my phone on, my sister would have called and my mom would have, I'm like, I'm like, every time that I go to unplug is always something trying to get you right back in. So you have to force yourself out of that unpluggedness, you know what I mean? Out of being unplugged. And then the Knight of Cups represents how, you know, you can't you can't just sit down and be lackadaisical with the things that you want. The cards the cards are saying even the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Cups is is letting you know that you have to actually go out there and achieve what it is that you're looking for actively. So you're gonna have to actually do some work. It's not just gonna come to you, you know, as it usually does for you Sagittarians. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. Peace.